Some of the best coffee fragrances you can buy for under 50 bucks. Let's talk about it. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today we're going to be talking about some of the best coffee fragrances that you could legitimately buy for under $50. Not just because of the fact that they're under 50 bucks, but you get 100 ml. There are a lot of smaller brands that have 1.7 ounces for like $35, $40, $45 upwards of, and uh, they're not even 100 ml. These are all 100 ml fragrances. They're eau de parfum concentrations. They last all freaking day. I do have a a couple of favorites amongst these and when I initially smelled these it was like kind of on the go it wasn't really something I got to live with I've been living with these fragrances a lot most of the time I've been spraying these on especially on my bedding my sheets etc at night that's how I've been testing these specific coffee fragrances I personally don't really have too many coffee fragrances some of my better ones are the niche end line uh, coffee fragrances a more cafe by Mancera is a great one these fragrances tread in that territory but pay close attention to my descriptor so you make sure that if you do end up getting one of these you get the closest to what you're going to enjoy. Obviously, I can't guarantee that you're going to like everything that I like personally, but I'm going to do my best to keep it as objective as possible. So I will contribute a little bit of subjective opinions as to which ones I like more, etc. And if we share a similar taste, then consider the following. So number one on this list is going to be the Caramel Macchiato. Caramel Macchiato is a caramel-based coffee. And the one thing that I absolutely love about this fragrance is the fact that it doesn't smell like cappuccino. It smells like black coffee with a couple of pumps of caramel. There is a fragrance by Latofa Ajayib Dubai. People love it and swear by it. And if you enjoy it, go ahead. That's cool. The only thing that I personally don't enjoy it is the fact that to me, it's cloying. It's very cloying. It smells like cappuccino, extremely sweet. And I personally cannot enjoy that fragrance at all. And when I initially got this, I was like, ah, oh, shoot, it's going to be another cappuccino fragrance. But it's far from that. It's a lot of black, bold coffee. It's very dense, but it's also smells natural. Smells like freshly brewed. The caramel isn't overpowering. It's definitely definitely there and it's going to contribute really more of a mass appeal. It gives it just enough of a gourmand aspect without it being too cloying. It's something that I can wear and I think everybody's going to enjoy this one. If you enjoy sweet fragrances, it's simple. It's caramel and coffee. Simple as that. I mean, this is one of the safer ones that I personally think everybody should get into if you enjoy coffee fragrances. Number one easily is caramel macchiato. This lasts about eight to 10 hours. All of these fragrances last a long time, except for maybe one or two. They wear a little bit lighter. Doesn't mean it doesn't last, but it doesn't project as much. So yes, be careful on the trigger with Caramel Macchiato. It's a great one. It's my number one pick. My number two pick for me personally is going to be Kahwa. And the reason is because of the fact that it's a Middle Eastern inspired coffee. This one does, however, go a little bit bolder in the coffee scent profile. It has like this molasses undertone. I generally speaking don't like the thicker, denser coffees that go molasses route, but there's still something nostalgic for me personally to this one. It smells like Middle Eastern coffee. It smells like you just poured it out the fin jam. And you've got the cardamom, some of that steam, etc. It's fresh, it's dark, it's bold, it's got this rich, uh, earthy ground, fresh ground Turkish coffee style, you know, nuance that's going on in here. So it's thick, it's dense, it's coffee, it's bold as hell, and it's spiced with cardamom. So Kahwa, it's a phenomenal fragrance as well. It's my number two easily. This one lasts even longer. And both of these are unisex fragrances, like with a lot of the other uh, fragrances on this list. Number three, it's not going to be the best performing fragrance, but it's not a bad performer regardless. It's Irish coffee. Irish coffee does malt and coffee, basically whiskey or booze and coffee. It's as simple as that. It literally smells like malt and coffee. It smells pretty good. It's one of the more wearable versions. It doesn't have too much of like a coffee, too much of a malt. It's just boozy. It's coffee. It's easier to wear. It's more of like a fragrance rather than just straight up coffee. So for me personally, I think that this is one that I would easily gravitate to and have a little bit more versatility rather than just distinctive gourmand coffee. Booze and coffee. Simple as that. Also lasts about eight to nine hours. I don't think that this is going to be anything crazy in terms of longevity, but the projection on this, I sprayed it on about seven times. I could smell it the entire eight to nine hours. Next up on this list is going to be Kopi Luwak. Kopi Luwak, look it up. It's a rodent that eats it. It's actually a delicacy. It's rare and it's actually prized as well. So the rodent eats it. They, you know, let it out. Yeah. And then they rinse it, they clean it, and then they brew the coffee. This you would think would be animalic, but it's not. It's actually more towards a natural, black, bold, freshly brewed coffee as well. However, it doesn't have anything animalic 
to it. It just adds an earthy nuance to it, almost like soil, like literally that. Not off-putting by any means, it just adds an earthy undertone to the coffee, simple as that. Not animalic, safe, but bold and earthy coffee. Last but not least is gonna be Mocha. The reason why I placed it last on this list is not because it's a bad fragrance, actually a great fragrance, but this is the most perfume-esque type of uh, coffee fragrance, a more uh, traditional fragrance style. And it revolves around a lot of florals and saffron. So it's floral, saffron, cocoa powder. It's like saffron, cocoa powder, covered coffee. The saffron in here is not too metallic. It's not too spicy. It just smells like dusted spiced cocoa powder over that coffee. It's not anything that's too rich. It's not cloying. It's not overly sweet. It actually smells not cloyingly sweet. It's a lot closer to the neutral side of things with a slight sweetness to it and a coffee undertone. But for the most part, it's going to be cocoa dust with a spiced saffron, not metallic and coffee undertone. The more unisex and slightly femme leaning of them all. This is going to be the one that's the closest to traditional perfume, etc. Yeah, they're still a great fragrance despite the fact that it's number five on this list. I stand by it. These are some of the best coffee fragrances that you can get for under 50 bucks, 100 mLs, the longevity, the scent profile. These do not smell cheap whatsoever. I would personally place this in something like uh, Thierry Mugler's Pure Coffee without the cloyingness or the cloying nature of that. Thierry Mugler's Pure Coffee is a lot more cloying, a lot denser, and a lot more in your face than that. So don't take this as like, oh, this is a replacement for it. No, but if you enjoy it, this is a really good take on it. That's the caliber or scent profile that I would place this in. Like quality, this is designer quality. Caramel Coffee or Caramel Macchiato, easily number one on this list. And right after that, if you like Middle Eastern cardamom spice, you're gonna love Kahua. That's pretty much all I have to say about these, you guys. They're going to be around uh, anywhere from 40 to 60 US dollars. Uh, the presentation on these, they look phenomenal. I mean, they all look the same. The only difference is going to be those uh, stickers on the front. It's gonna be a different image. For Caramel Macchiato, you'll see a little caramel on there. All of these were performing above average. It's hard to get a lesser performing coffee fragrance, especially because a lot of the notes are denser, etc. Occasions for a lot of these fragrances, I would personally reserve it for the cooler weather. There are a few here that you can get away with during the springtime. Caramel Macchiato, you could easily get away with in the spring. The Mocha, also spring. Irish, you could also get away with in the spring. Honestly, you could even rock some of these during the summertime. Wear what you want, when you want. And for the most part, a lot of these can be as versatile as you want them to be. Really, it depends on you, your taste, and how you want to carry yourself where you go. The best coffee fragrances for under 50 to 60 bucks. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Until the next one, peace.